Hey guys, how's it going? It's Baggins here, and today we're back with some quick Hyperscape news. Now, for those of you who have been out of the loop with Hyperscape, maybe you haven't played it in a few months, uh, a lot of changes have been ongoing with the game, despite a lot of people having just wrote off the game as dead, saying, you know, it's a dead game, nothing's happening anymore. There is actually quite a lot happening. The, the developers, the people who make the game, Ubisoft, have been on an ongoing effort to constantly improve the game, bring in new systems for, for players, and one of the most recent developments is the game is now on the Epic game store so for those of you unaware if you play on a console well on pc we have a bunch of different places that you can download games from so rather than it just being the microsoft store or the playstation store we have the option of steam origin epic game store you play there's a bunch of them <laughs> there's quite a few uh, but Epic Game Store and Steam generally considered to be some of the biggest right now and uh, as I mentioned the game just recently got launched onto the Epic Game Store which brings in a lot of new eyes onto the game and indeed a lot of new players. We've gone from having if we're lucky 20 players at most in a, in a PC lobby to now upwards close to 60 which is pretty awesome if you think about it in Apex Legends that's uh, 60 player lobbies as well so being able to have lobby sizes comparable to Apex Legends definitely something that I'm enjoying uh, rather than just playing against the same six dudes over and over again. Now this also comes in with crossplay having arrived last week as well. Crossplay is just with the consoles right now, so Xbox and PS4 are in the same lobbies together, which again should increase lobby sizes. So yeah, hopefully these games where we only get like, you know, three to ten people per per lobby is gonna be a thing of the past. Fingers crossed. Uh, but either way, I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay today of a nice big lobby and uh, let me know how you guys are finding it as well. If you're just jumping back into Hyperscape, have you tried out the new team deathmatch game mode? Are you finding the lobbies to be any bigger if you are on Xbox? of PS4, let me know in those comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and click the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video. I went to raid, but I don't know how to or have anyone to raid with. Yeah, I think the first step is like finding a, a guild. I mean, they have, um, they have this thing now called LFR. It's looking for raid, where you can just um, do small portions of raids with just random players, Mary. It's probably gonna be a pretty rough experience. Um, because, in my experience, when you do anything with the general public, people are just stupid. <laughs> but, it's a, you know, you can give it a go. And there's a lot of uh, handy guides out there. One of the guides that I would recommend, that's pretty, like, well condensed and easy to follow, is, um... It's a YouTube channel called Ready Check Pull. Ready Check Pull. And they have, like, some simplified guides on how to do the raids and what to watch out for. So... If you're seriously interested, I would look at uh, doing LFR, looking for raid, with the group finder, and uh, just watching some videos. How long is season two? We don't know yet. I imagine season two is not until sometime in the new year, January, February. I think we're. I think this is it for updates now for Hyperscape because uh, Ubisoft is away for holidays. So, how do I watch videos? Uh, you put them in your eyeballs. Look at this though, dude. 50 player lobby. You see that up in the top right? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Is there a specific level you need to be? You need to be max level for raiding. Uh, if you want to do the most recent raids anyway. It is a, a like an end game level cap thing. Yeah, 52 players. Not bad, right, Phil? And the good thing is, they're gonna stick around for a bit as well, because it's second chances, so everybody who dies just comes back to life, unless they quit. Are you still sponsored by Chef Shock? No. We... that was only a one month contract thing. We didn't renew the contract. It's okay, I like, I kind of expected it to go that way, to be honest. Like, r right now, and uh, this is not meant to make anybody feel bad. It's really not. It's not your fault. I super appreciate the people who are still here just, you know, chilling with me. But uh, the stream, in terms of, like, uh, from an analytical standpoint, the YouTube channel, from, like, viewer standpoint and stuff, we're actually at the, the worst the stream has really ever been <laughs> since, like, before Realm Royale. But it's okay. Like, I, I, I knew this was kind of coming. The writing's been there on the wall. We just gotta, we just gotta rough it out. And, it, you know, I'm just super appreciative that there's still some people that want to chill with me. You guys help a lot. Come on, Baggins. Three for the trees. 
No, just keep being you, chat. That's the best thing you guys can do. Just, just chilling with me. Appreciate it. We just gotta rough it out until a better time. Whether it's with Hype Escape when it when it, it gets more popular, or it's a completely brand new game. We just gotta weather the storm, so to say. I don't think there's tremendous amounts of uh, sense in switching to another game right now because. There's nothing that truly appeals to me that I would want to sit a long grind with to grow. I'd, I'd rather just grow with a new game at this point rather than switching to something that already exists. Um, or grow with Hyperscape. That would be the ideal. But the question remains as to whether you can grow with Hyperscape at this point. And I think the answer to that question lies in Season 3. So we just gotta make it to Season 3 whenever that happens. Yeah, but dude, the lobbies are definitely bigger. That's that's really nice. Although, like, uh, the viewership on Twitch hasn't necessarily gone up that much. Uh, lobbies are bigger, which definitely makes the game more enjoyable to play when you're not playing against the same six dudes over and over again. There's so many new players right now, Munch. I just hope they stick around, dude. I really do. But yeah, we're back to getting, like, uh, 50 plus lobbies. 50 players or more. Where did this guy go? Oh, dude. He slapped me with that dragonfly. Well played. You taking my gear? He's thinking about it. Yeah, that's my concern. Like, I almost feel like I shouldn't be playing right now. Like, I, I just want these new players to play against other new players. Hey, man. Your location contenders. Sectors are starting to collapse. People should find the game easier to play in general now, though. Because they've added a lot of newbie friendly weapons. Or not added, but they've made the newbie friendly weapons much more powerful than they were. Like, DTAP was a complete joke. Komodo was actually okay. Um when the game launched on, uh, like when the game first launched on PC. But I think generally the game is easier to play now. And therefore, that steep learning curve that players experience is maybe isn't as extreme. And we've got like second chance in now, so if you die in solo, you got to come back to life. We've got team deathmatch, which is a bit more casual. So yeah, fingers crossed, all these new players <laughs> that I'm killing <laughs> will stick around. That would be really nice. And then I think the next biggest question is if they stick around, how long until the next update? And hopefully it's not that long until the next update. My friend said this game is confusing. The last play it, Jaunty. The lobbies are full? No, we're not at 100 players. But like I say, the lobby size is probably doubled. Like the lobbies are twice as big now as they were two days ago. And uh, from what I've heard from Ubisoft, they say there's 10 times more people playing on PC. Will soon be collapsing. A few weeks ago? Yeah, I think honestly, man, like now onwards is probably a good time to start tra trying out Hyperscape. Definitely season three. Leave it to me. But when you think about it, if you've played Apex Legends, like Apex Legends, you've got to think about your momentum and uh, wall sliding, bunny hopping. Um, you've got to think about which ammo types you're holding. You've got to think about the attachments that you need for the weapons. You've got to think about holding med kits and shield batteries. You've got to think about shield swapping or armor swapping. Um, you've got to think about all the different like characters' abilities. Like that's a wraith. What can she do? While well, she's got a wraith walk and she's got a portal. That's octane. What can he do? Whereas in this game, everybody's the same. Like this guy is the only thing that's different between me and this guy is our skin. You can pick up any weapons you want, you can pick up any abilities you want, so it's just learning the weapons and abilities, which are pretty simplistic. You've got the heal, it heals. You've got shockwave, knocks people up in the air. You've got slam, you go up, you come back down and you do damage. You've got a revolver, you've got an SMG. Like, it's... You know, there's, there's, you don't need to think about picking up medkits, you don't need... well... <laughs> Holding them in your inventory anyway. You don't need to worry about different ammo types. You don't need to worry about attachments for your guns. It is really simplistic from that standpoint. I think the only thing that maybe would be confusing to people is like the movement, you know, doing doing all of this stuff. Like maybe maybe this is a bit scary to people. I'm 
so worried that I'm gonna get third partied here. Yep, there it is. There's the third party. Right on time. Gotta worry about the dragonfly guy. Okay, we're good. No, we're not good. Oh. If you could eat anything for free for one year, what would it be? Dude, I want to say like Domino's or something, but that's not good for me at all. <laughs> I would have to like choose something that I would enjoy, but it would also be like just sensible, you know? So I just have to let's say like chicken. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> some sort of, some kind of chicken. Strafe jumping? There's no, there's no like uh, real strafe jumping in this game. I think like the movement techniques is just understanding that uh, one of the fastest ways to move in this game is sliding, which is kind of the same in Apex, right? But yeah, just sprinting and then do a slide. When you get about halfway through your slide, stop it and start a new slide. This is one of the fastest ways to move around the game. You can double jump, so you jump and then you can jump again. We got low gravity right now, which is making things a little bit weirder. Uh, and then there's a combination of sprinting, crouching and jumping. And that, that's it. That's the holy trinity. That's like the, the, the core fundamentals of hyperscape that you have to get it, it, into your mind. So if you're just going to run around like this. Nine left. And then shoot. And then move like this. And then shoot. You're dead. Like that's it. You, you, you've already lost the game. you got to move around. you got to make use of the sliding. you got to make use of the jumping. If you don't like sliding and jumping, hyperscape isn't the game for you. I, I, and I think maybe that's why like some players struggle. So they don't understand that you have to move around in this game, dude. You can't just stand still. This isn't Warzone. You gotta move around. Not Valorant either. In Valorant, you're actually rewarded for standing still, right? Because you get more, you're more accurate with your aim. Not the, not the case in this game. You don't want to be standing still, really. Can I get up there? Oh my God. Well, everything's on cooldown now. To be honest, dude, I think Thai food would actually be a good choice. Like, just eat free at like some Thai food restaurant. Thai food is like not super bad for you. It's generally pretty clean, and it tastes really flipping good. So, oh, we gotta get out of there. No, salvo. Okay, we're good. Just gotta get out of there. It's the most important thing. We also got not gonna get third party. Some guy in this building as well. They have an effect like the floor is lava. Why couldn't they make the snow slippery and give it a permanent slide throughout the match? I guess it just was not a consideration. Real. I think they could. They just decided not to for whatever reason. No, I just want to, like, I get a kill and then I can't finish it because I just get third bodied all the time. Like, I'll be in the middle of, like, shooting at somebody and then I'll get shot in the back. As I'm trying to finish off the kill, and then I have to disengage. Okay. Be aware of your location, Where did that come from? Are starting to collapse. See up on the roof? I don't really want to go up, because I feel like I'm just going to get shot. Alright, let's go down here. What was that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, me, this guy, and one other person. Okay, that didn't work. Him in combat. Watch out for collapsed sectors. It's time for the showdown. Still kept him in combat. No. Oh, okay. Lethal melee? Okay, chat. 
Oh, I'm scared, dude. I'm so low. Okay. Oh, I thought we messed that up. Okay, I wanted to go for the lethal melee, but I was not prepared to throw that game. Damn, dude, games are intense. But it's good. Oh, there we go. 50 plus player lobby, 12 kills. Feels good, man. Uh, from what I've heard from Ubisoft, they say that the PC player base, specifically the PC player base, is 10 times bigger than it used to be, which is fantastic, Mr. Smix. It's what we need, man. Regular updates and people just playing the flipping game. <laughs>